Welcome to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We are here to have a Bible-based conversation about who you are in Christ. Thank you. Thank you. I can't come in without the applause. Hello! Hello! It's like walking into an empty room without it. Oh, yeah. Without the room? (laughs) Go ahead, Amanda. (laughs) Hannah is shunned. No, I'm not giving you a high five. I am shunning you. Shun. Hannah's like, your shun looks a lot like a high five. I'm taking it. (laughs) Gonna rip off her headset and she's out of here. No, just kidding. I'm back. Ta da! Oh, good. We're all here. Gotcha. We're all here. The gang's all here. What is that? Anyway, I think so. I think that was it. I don't know. Anyway, hello. I'm so glad you're back. Hi. like we had mentioned last time, please, please, please make sure to follow us. Um, like us. <laughs> Maybe just walk by and make sure give us a thumbs I up. Like, oh, great. People are just going to start following us around the church. <laughs> you told us to follow you. <laughs> are not you? advocating stalkery. <laughs> 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 No, if you start following me, I'm going to take your phone and I'm going to make you subscribe to our podcast on all platforms. So do it. (laughs) Do it, my friend. I love you enough. (laughs) Yeah, just a little hello from your friendly podcast. Um, (laughs) Anyway. Okay. Um, So today, (laughs) um, we have, oh, so Jamie has funsies, which... I'm not licking any sidewalks today, my friend. <laughs> so we've got... <laughs> That's what you think. Don't you remember? <laughs> I even listened in on that. I thought, oh, hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. So we've got, interesting. Oh, we've got right. fun you funsies. Were that day. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Fun and funsies. Yeah. We've got Sherry with the, with the wad. So... Yep. Anyway, she's got a continuation of yours. (laughs) All right. (laughs) So, okay. So back to the funsies of licking sidewalks. Oh, (laughs) We were going to ask you, Hannah, which one were you going to choose? Do you you remember what the first one was? What the other options were? Yeah. It was like... Oh, no. no, Stick your tongue up someone's nose. Was it the gum now? No. Yeah, it was stick your tongue up someone's nose or lick the New York sidewalk. I probably lick the sidewalk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will not be the willing nose <laughs> for any scenario. I think it was a stranger's nose. It was. Yeah, I it think was it was. It could be you. <sighs> yeah. You're not, not a stranger. <laughs> or random. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> All right. That is not today's funsies. That was just a little bonus. Um, I thought it would be fun today to... Um, <laughs> just got her little head up. Do a little... I guess this is trivia. I don't know. Um to learn about the collective nouns for animals, like groups of animals, what are they oh. called? <laughs> oh, because that's some be of good. them are really weird. Yeah, 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 it's true. How do they come up with these? I don't, yeah. you know, I don't right. know how they come Children. up with them. <laughs> right, but just it's... ask a second grader, and they'll tell you mm-hmm. what it should be. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I, there, I have a huge exhaustive list here. So starting with number one, just kidding. Um, <laughs> See you next Thursday. Uh, I'll just pick out some fun ones. Um, so start first up on this list is birds. So uh, there's a bunch of birds on here. I don't even know what they are. But well, let's start with quails. Whoa. I do know what those are. And there's actually three options here. I'm not going to give you what they are. You could just. Oh. Yeah, but okay. you you, you might guess. you have a better chance of guessing, I guess, mm. if you get you get one of three. Um so what yeah, what would you call a group of quail? A pack. A pack. A quackling. <laughs> yeah. A quackling of quail. Uh yeah. If that's not what it is called, that's what it should be called. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what do you say, uh, Sherry? Mm, quail. Not, a quail of quail? <laughs> a quail of quail. Okay. No, you're all wrong. Uh, you would have been right if you guessed a bevy of quail. What? Hmm. A bevy. covey of quail. Or a drift of quail. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, no. They have three names? That's not fair. Either, like I said, you had three <laughs> chances. Well, or they're three. Better, I thought you were like they're better than all the other birds. But they, no. they're called are all they? three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they huh. mm-hmm. A covey. That's kind of a cool name. Yeah. Not as good as, what was that other one? Quackling. Uh, a yeah, bevy. Quackling. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right. Uh, do you guys like hummingbirds? Yes. yes. Oh. I do. I think they're like, 
I, I was telling my daughter, like, cause they, they just come and go so quickly. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah. Oh, something magical just happened. I'm like, mm-hmm. they're like fairies. Yeah. <gasps> I know fairies aren't real, but if they were, it would be a hummingbird. Right. It's just like, yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. All right. What would you call a group of hummingbirds? A you quickling. Have, there's there's a quickling. four on this list. A quickling? Yeah, because they're so fast. Oh. Anyway. It's pretty good. That is good. See, I just keep thinking of a gaggle. There, You're going to get to something where there's a gaggle That's of these geese. Critters, it's got to be but something I don't remember. poetic. Though, geese are yeah. gaggling. Gaggling geese. I think. Yeah. But Humming hummingbirds... Bird. Tiny little things. <laughs> a, sw- a, swift. A, sw- a swarm. Ooh, a swift. A, well, I'm going to go oh. with a swarm of hummingbirds. <laughs> oh. That sounds so mm-hmm. ominous, though. <laughs> yeah, but when, there's, when they're all around you and they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're flapping so hard and there's all of them. It's like, they're, they're just going to so attack like, my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Could you imagine the sound? Like, what would that sound like? That almost sounded like a lasso. Really quick lasso. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. You don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, A charm. (gasps) See, I told you that makes sense. I got excited. (laughs) You said a swarm. No, I said a swarm. swarm. What did you say? I said a quickling. Oh, a quickling. Oh, not a swarm. (laughs) Um, Okay. So yeah, there's a a charm, a chattering of hummingbirds. That makes sense. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Or a drum of hummingbirds. Oh. Or oh. this one's weird. A troubling, see, a troubling of hummingbirds. <laughs> Swarms that would be must troubling. be. Maybe that's like it depends on the size. Yeah, like, oh. like uh, it yeah, is, one like two is like a charm. It's a charm. Yeah, but oh, yeah, yeah, ten yeah. is a troubling. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, you a meant troubling the size the of the hummingbird. That was really confusing. Oh. I was like, I didn't think they got oh. much bigger. That would be. Scary. Huh. Oh my goodness. Especially for as fast as those wings go, that it would just I know. chop my hair or that something. Would, I, that would kill you. Let's do let's do one more um bird before we move on to something else. Um this one has lots of options actually. Magpie. Oh. What do you call a group of magpies? Annoying. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Do you know them personally? That was violent. The noise. It's It's troubling. It's It's making me mad. A Vanderbilt. (laughs) Whoa. Is that on the list? (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) A grouping? A grouping of magpies. Grouping. Um... Not quite. Oh, okay. um, we got a, a congregation. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. I am offended. <laughs> a charm of magpies. Oh, oh. A flock of magpies. Oh, okay. Kind of yeah. thrown out an easy one out there. Uh, a gulp of magpies. Gulp. Oh. <laughs> a murder of magpies. Oh. Hannah, there you go. Annoying. <laughs> a tiding. Of magpies. Oh, oh. Yes, Those tiding. are the angelic magpies, I guess. <laughs> Tidings of joy. A tittering of magpies. Oh, that's fun. That's a good one. Like a tribe. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, that's the last one. A tribe. A tribe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, there you go. You guys are over for whatever, three. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. We'll get close, there. close, you know. All right. Let's move on to mammals. <sighs> this okay. might be easier. Okay. Maybe. Let may, We'll see if you guys know this one. Oh. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it doesn't not with sound, that face. No, that sound good. Yeah. Sorry. Like, there's a big list here. I didn't get to read it all before we go. So, um, we'll start with gorillas. Oh, uh, yeah. So you charge a charge of gorillas. I would say a band. Oh, of yeah. Gorillas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's a real thing. Yeah. It's probably on the list. Somewhere. You watched Tarzan, right? They made music. No. They had a band. Gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Nicole? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you I think, no audience? Idea. What do you call a group of gorillas? <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, you were right. A band <gasps> is really oh, yes. good job. Such band of I'm gorillas. So awesome. Or there's also I like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got one. There's also a Shh. a whoop. <laughs> 
<laughs> whoop, 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 whoop of gorillas. You have, you have the gorillas in the band, and in the audience, they're whoop, whoop. <laughs> What's oh. happening? <laughs> Lene's calling. <laughs> Hang on. I told her I was going to do this if she calls me again. Hang on. Lene? She, she, she got scared. Did you laugh, laugh on her? Oh, uh, I, well, I don't know. Like, I'm on Do Not Disturb, so maybe it was like mm. voicemail. Yeah, I I hit the button, but she went away. I got my headphones on. <laughs> 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 All right, sorry. Uh, you missed out, Lene. You could have been on the show. Now I gotta find my spot again. Gotta make sure she listens to this one. I know. She she dodged a bullet there. She probably hung up right away. She's like, oh, she's recording. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one you you might be able to get one. Let's see. Uh, what do you call a group of mules? Obnoxious. <laughs> Loud. Am I right? Mm. No. Um. <laughs> Um, a dray, a dray Whoa. of mules. That goes that author brain. Go mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. bunch of burrows. <laughs> <laughs> Clump. <laughs> I have a, a clumpling. A clumpling. Oh gosh, yeah. that's a probably herd. one of these on here. A herd. A, a herd, herd of mules. mules. Yeah, herd. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Huh. Uh, I was thinking maybe someone might get a pack of mules. Uh, I was going to say a pack uh, of dirt. Oh. <laughs> a pack of flying fish. <laughs> <laughs> so from Ice Age. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Packy dirt. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> also a baron of mules. A rake of mules or a span of mules. <laughs> oh, this isn't a... R- <laughs> I'm just going to give you guys this one. It's not a real <laughs> animal. Oh. Or maybe it was. Unicorns? I don't know. Yeah, unicorns. If there was a group of them, it would be called a blessing. <gasps> oh. Blessing of unicorns. Oh. Wow. Watch, they are real, and they only live in heaven. <laughs> maybe. You never know. Oh, we haven't that made would it there be yet. fun. Yeah. Be All right, really this fun. one, uh, we'll just do a couple more. Um, this one, you got lots of options. Mm. We'll see if Ooh. you can nab one. Mm-hmm. All right, rabbits. A gaggle. A gaggle of rabbits. Okay. A, I'm sticking with that one. A, um, a burrow, a burrow of rabbits. I was going to say a herd. I don't know, because there's a bunch of them usually. A stampede. Oh. Uh, a family yeah. of rabbits. Because oh. right. mm. they're all related. <laughs> no. You guys. A multiplication. No, that should be one. Oh <laughs> my be. gosh! We'll just want to call him like a love shack. <laughs> this is a family show, you know. <laughs> love is good. Family is good. Oh, Shacks are awesome. <laughs> Multiply. Multiply. <laughs> All right, so there's a colony of rabbits. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. A berry. Oh. A berry. Hmm. Of rabbits, a drove. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> a flick. <laughs> flick. Yeah, a they, flick it just of rabbits. happens like that. No, that's oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that sorry, a sense. snap of rabbits. <laughs> a, a Kindle of rabbits. <laughs> a leash of rabbits. Oh. A nest of rabbits. Uh, oh, a that trace. A warren. Oh. A, I thought someone would get that one. A warren? A no. warren I've of rabbits. I've never heard, heard that one. I have no. heard it, but I forgot it in my brain. <laughs> yeah, my brain <laughs> does that too. Yeah. Um, or a rack of rabbits. W R A C K. A rack. Is that before oh. or after you eat them? Um, <laughs> yikes. I don't know. I'm They're sorry. in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, did I say a couple more? Like, do, we, do I owe you one more? Yeah, yeah. let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> Um, gosh, if I could find flying fish on here, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't. Um, oh, let's do. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> All these animals sound. made the ark. Mm-hmm. Let's just think about that for a minute. They did. They Some did. of them could probably just fly. What would you call a group of dinosaurs? Dead. Mm. <laughs> Extinct. <laughs> oh, it's not I don't know. Petroleum. That's, <laughs> Petroleum. 
<laughs> oh, I found a good one. But there's only one option here. Oh, we'll slim pickings. We'll see if you can <laughs> locate it okay. in your brains. All right, what would you call a group of porcupines? Oh, cute. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> needles. Yeah. <laughs> we just Good name them needles. <laughs> hey, look at that needle. <laughs> no, there's a big needle. Big group. <laughs> That's a needle of porcupines. <laughs> oh, a hazard. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. A um, hazard of porcupines. Yeah. Know. Um, makes sense. A snafu. Ooh, <laughs> solid word. <laughs> I like that word. This is tough. <sighs> With your hands behind your back, you look very. I'm. This mm. is tough. Yeah, oh, I know. Because it's not a gaggle. <laughs> I know that. I'm not gonna say family again. <laughs> No, that was wrong. <laughs> I knew so close, any of my answers so. would be wrong. So. Okay. It's a prickle. <gasps> <gasps> a prickle of porcupine. Well, I, I was kind of close. I said oh. sharp. I know. You were pretty close. Yeah. A sharpling. A sharp. That's adorable. <laughs> All right. I liked hazard. That was good. Yeah, nice. that was really good. So good. Clearly, real. I don't know any of that. <laughs> hey, look at those animals over there. They're doing animal things. <laughs> hey, that's a group of them. <laughs> and they're all together. It's <laughs> awesome. Togethering. Hey, look Together. at that. More than one animal over there. Uh, well, let us, let us pray. <laughs> Be sanctified and holy. <laughs> Jesus, we just thank you uh, that we just get to come together uh, for another week just to dive deep into uh, what you have shared with Pastor Sherry and that we um, just get to know more about you. Um, Open something uh, up to each and every one of us who are sitting here or listening. um, And we just thank you and we praise you for all that you have in store. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I do am in Job. Oh, it's a lovely place to be. The beginning and the end. <laughs> Mostly the end. Mostly the end. Mostly yeah. the end, because that's where all the blessing is. Um, yeah, I've been uh, studying Job. Well, I was studying something for a while, and then um, Pastor Jim asked me to do a teaching recently, which took me back to all of my notes, which took me back into Job again. And and every time I read Job, I'm struck with the beginning of chapters one and two. Mm. Because I'm like, really? Who all was there? We're having a meeting and who's there and why are they there? Mm -hmm. Right? So we're going to, we're going to start reading Job one. I'm going to read six through 12. It says, one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied, have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. But now stretch, but now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well then, everything he has is in your power. But on the man himself, do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. So just like we learned last week um, from Amanda's teaching is um, Job had not sinned. He was a man of God. Um, He, God said himself that he is upright and have you noticed him? Um, And so, you know, you read through Job and you're like, well, if he was so upright, then why would all of this be happening, right? I get answered that all the time. Counseling, people come in and say, well, if God is so good, why does he allow this to happen? I'm like, have you read the book of Job? (laughs) 
right? Because clearly it says here he has done nothing wrong. And yet there was a meeting that I'm still baffled by. Um, Cause I'm like, why is he even in that meeting? But, but he is. And, and so it, it's just thing, bad things happen, bad things happen to people. And it, and it isn't always explained, right? So we're going to jump to Job 2, 1 through 6. Um, and it's the same. It says, on another day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with them to present himself before him. And the Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, the man who fears God and shuns evil. And he still maintains his integrity. Though you incited me against him to ruin him without any reason. Skin for skin, Satan replied, a man will give all he has for his own life. But now stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones, and he will surely curse you to your face. Then the Lord said to Satan, very well, then he is in your hands, but you must spare his life. And so both times God has said he has done nothing wrong. He, he has no reason, you know, he hasn't sinned. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for anything to come up against him. But yet the Lord was like, okay, okay. Because the Lord knew Job. Mm. He knew his heart and he knew, he knew what he would do. Mm. He knew he would not sin against him. Right. And so let's chat about that today. It, it bring, it brings up questions in me. Does the Lord know me? Does Mm. he know my heart? Does he know how I'm going to respond and react when something bad comes against me to a point that he's going to go, yeah, go ahead. Have you met my servant, Sherry? You know, go ahead. Let's just see what she does. Or is he going to go like in, um, there's another chapter <laughs> um, in Matthew and Luke um, where someone comes to the Lord and says, well, what about this man? And he says, no. We all know him as Simon Peter because there was a meeting there too. Mm. that said, well, what about this man? And God said, no, because he also knew his heart. So I encourage you to read that one too, because he did know his heart and he knew that he wasn't going to stand firm. So he told him, no, you cannot. And so I, I just want to chat about that today. I think it's important that we understand that you know, for a lot of years, I skipped over that because I don't want to read about Satan. I don't want to read about the adversary. I don't want to read about any of that. But let's look at it in the point of he does come. Mm. He does go before the Lord to accuse. There are these meetings just so that he can go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just see what your man did? Did you just see what your daughter did? Did you just see? Right. And so these scriptures are so intriguing to me. To read about these meetings and who is in attendance just blows my mind. I never have thought about any type of meetings in heaven like this. Have any of you? No. No. I mean, and, and I know we've all read Job. Did you ever give any of that a thought of, wait a minute, why is he there? I, I always pictured that they were on the earth. <laughs> right. Yeah. But they weren't. Right. Yeah. They weren't. It's crazy. Yeah. Actually, Hannah, now that you've said that, I think I thought the same thing. It's like Honestly. they would come down and yeah. I almost see them like from a far off distance with like binoculars yeah. mm-hmm. looking at him like, mm-hmm. look, look what he's doing. Right. Yeah. But it's not that no. way. And so no. we, our earthly minds, I don't think can comprehend sometimes what's actually happening in I was a spiritual like, Well, wait realm. a minute. What is he doing? Who, who let this guy in? <laughs> right. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Because you were kicked out. How right. did you get back in? Yeah, I don't like that. Have any of you thought about that? I have, but there's, yeah, I don't see any answers. So it's just, it's just one of those, like, that's weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Well, hopefully today I'm going to give you some answers okay. because I've kind of de- dove into this. 
Um, I was going to look up, and I thought I had it in my notes. Maybe I do. Oh, I do. It's in Luke. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, because I'm like, wait a minute, because I know there was... Um, getting ahead of myself. Um, Satan has officially been kicked out of heaven. But I know that Satan's real. I know he wanders the earth. He is extremely prideful and out to destroy us. But I guess every time I read Job, it still baffles me to remember that he actually has access to the throne room still to this day. Every single time I read Job, I think of this. Satan has officially been kicked out of heaven, but he still has access there. Several places in scripture presents the idea that Satan has access to the presence of God in order to accuse the saints. Mm -hmm. So let's read Zechariah 3, 1 through 10. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. The Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? Now Joshua, now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes and stood before the angel. The angel said to those who were standing before him, take off his filthy clothes. Then he said to Joshua, see, I have taken away your sin and I will put fine garments on you. Then I said, put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him while the angel of the Lord stood by. The angel of the Lord gave this change to Joshua. This is what the Lord Almighty says. If you will walk in obedience to me and keep my requirements, then you will govern my house and have charge of my courts. And I will give you a place among these standing here. Did any of you realize where they were? I'm learning that I don't think I pay as much attention as I thought I did. <laughs> well, I mean, to location, you know, right. I don't know. Well, because <laughs> here's the thing that I've noticed in my studies. Um, I get so focused sometimes on the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like what you were talking last week, Amanda, about, you know, we get so caught up in the situations and we're going to go get counseling and we're going to talk to these people and we're going to do all these things. And I'm just like, Sherry, you need to stop for a minute and really look at where I'm at, who's there and what's happening. Because this, this is huge. He showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. So this is a vision, but it also becomes real because he not only um, sees him dressed in filthy clothes, but he changes his clothes, he puts a turban on him, mm -hmm. which shows high priest. So he completely changes Joshua, completely changes him. Let's look at Revelation 12, 1 through 17. One through 17. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. 
But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down. That ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation of the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony, word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you will dwell in them. But woe to the earth and to the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to this place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times and a half a time out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring. Those who kept God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. So now where are we? In the sky. <laughs> Revelations is so <laughs> hard. <laughs> it is so hard. I mean, I see the parallels. I, I right. my brain, my, it's going, it's going. <laughs> I'm just it, Revelation is it's well, hard. To, it says the sky. <laughs> yeah, right. Just going with it, and right. then Satan's hurled down. Right. Mm-hmm. So you get that. We know that he yes. fell uh-huh. from the sky. Right. There's also a song about it. Right, but then it just seems like it's the earth. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's yeah, I a, think it, it's from from heaven to earth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we just read in Job that it gets to go back up sometimes for meetings. He does, <laughs> and it says, "Who accuses them before our God day and night?" Mm-hmm. Well, where? Is- well, that's the thing. I I feel like the dragon here is like up down up down. Like yes, he's, he's just he's. He's sneaky. sneaky yeah. He is. He's a wily little sucker. Right. But when we've read that, have we thought about that? He comes and goes. I mean, there's scripture all over. I yeah. could have given you a whole bunch yeah. that I never saw before of him going back and forth mm-hmm. and back and forth and back and forth. Mm. And I never thought about it because I'm like, well, you can't get up there. Well, but then but he I can. guess does that maybe bring a good finality to his end when he actually gets banished to the lake of fire. See, and that's it is he has access. He is, he, so we all know he was Lucifer. He was an angel who got prideful. And so he got banished from heaven, Mm -hmm. but God still loves him. God still wants him to be healed and whole, right? I mean, he knows who he is. Jesus washed Judas's feet. So mm. why wouldn't God be like, you come. I still have control over you. Do not forget who I am and what your place is. But I will listen to you. You can come and join my courts and you can come and accuse my daughters and my sons. But I know my children. Mm-hmm. So he will still give him access until the day that he is completely banished and then he can no longer go back and forth because God holds the key, right? Hmm. But have we really thought about that? You know, we talk about it all the time. Well, you know, he is the prince of the air and he, he accuses. And, you know, we always hear the, uh, well, he's come to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay, But let's think about this for a minute. How does he do that? He has to go to God and tattle. 
Right, that's what I was picturing, is like this. Hold on, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you notice? Hey, did you see? And it's this, like you were saying, I mean. She's just a gossiper. <sighs> right. So that's exactly what friends. he is. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. Mm-hmm. But, and I, I think that it almost, it, it kind of stirs you into like, just exactly what you're getting at, being known by God, right? Yep. When, when he goes back to tattle, yep. I, I don't want God to be like, I know, I saw it too. <laughs> you know, right. I don't want him to be like, right. uh, no, you hear her words, right? You may see some actions, right. but I know her heart, mm-hmm. and I yes. know her motive, and I know where she's going. Mm-hmm. You think you know where she's going because she's acting like a wackadoo, but I right. do know where she's going. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes. He is relentless in his pursuit to accuse us before God. I think this is why this meeting is in in scripture. I think that's why these meetings over and over are here to show us, right? To show us just how Satan works and how he still has the answer, how he has to answer to God. Job is a righteous man. As the angels come before God, so does Satan in order to accuse Job, saying that the only reason Job is so faithful is because God has blessed him so much. Mm. He tells God that if he allows Satan to test Job and take away everything he has, Job will fail and turn his back on God and curse him. But God already knows that this will not happen because he knows Job's heart. Mm -hmm. He knows his son. So he allows Satan to test him. Go ahead, because I know my son. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill him, but go ahead. So let's look at Luke 22, 31 and 32. So this is Jesus speaking here. And he says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat. Mm. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Are you seeing it for what it is now instead of what I've always thought it to be? Mm. This is the exact same thing that happened to Job. Mm. This is very interesting. See, I don't like talking about Satan. I don't like talking about the deceiver, but we have to think about this. You know, I've read over this time and time again in Luke, and I never saw it the way I saw it. Mm just a few months ago when I had gone back to research some stuff and I was like, whoa, 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 Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but he, he doesn't do the same that he did with Job because he knows his heart at this moment. He knows he's going to betray his son. Mm -hmm. So he says, no, but the Lord, you know, because we can read further. But the but he replied, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus answered. Now, Jesus, Jesus answered. I tell you, Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. He knows his heart. So now they won't allow Simon Peter to be tested like he did Job. Hmm. I thought this was figuratively. (laughs) I'm sorry, coming from the same lady that thought Job was Job. I mean, I just, oh, there's so much in there, right? But I I truly, I, when I was reading that, (laughs) I was today years old. Um, Because, so Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you, each of you like wheat. Yeah, I thought that was, mm, sorry, Lord. I thought that was more figurative. Like, because we're all going to be sifted. Yeah. We're all, you know what I mean? It felt more like a blanket statement and not as precise. Mm. But the following, so 32 says, but yep. I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith should not fail. It goes, right. it, it mirrors that, um, right. that accuser that yep. I'm going to come before you and this is my, my mm-hmm. case, you know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. no longer feels as a blanket statement-y. So now... When you read these about these different people and, and in the different books, now I'm seeing it everywhere. Mm-hmm. I had not seen these that way until I started reading 
what Job 1 and 2 is really saying, where they are and the conversations that are happening. And then it, it, it just, it was like, Lord, okay, I get that now. I get that now. He, he comes running to you about every little thing that I do. And, and then you sit and say, oh, no, no. It's all right. I know her. I know her heart. You accuse all you want to. You know, and I've said it here before. Somebody can come to me about any one of you ladies and say, oh, you know, Jamie or Hannah, Nicole, Amanda, they did da-da-da-da-da. And I'm like, mm, no. I know them. I know their heart. I know their motives. I know them. I have spent time with them. Mm-hmm. Get thee behind me, Satan. And that is precisely what happens all day, every day here on earth, because the accuser, you know, we say it, well, he accuses. Okay, but let's look at this. He goes from earth to heaven to accuse because he has that, that authority. He can still do that, which really isn't an authority because God still has authority over him. Mm-hmm. So he can go and accuse and he can go and badmouth us, but then God, mm-mm-mm, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you can say that all you want to, and I'll let you test them, but you can't kill them, and you can't do this, and you can't do that, because he has authority over what he can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. So then you put that with our free will. We have all fallen short of glory. (laughs) Yes. Now what do you think about Job 1 and 2? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> More than I did last week. <laughs> so Luke 22 is very similar to Job, but unlike Job, Simon Peter failed. God knew his heart too. Satan still goes before God and brings every accusation he can against us. For every one of our sins, he stands before God to point them out, wagging his finger at us saying, did you see what or hear what they did, God, what your child just did? Then Jesus steps in and says, yes, Father, she is your child. I paid the price Mm -hmm. for those sins. Mm -hmm. She believes in me, and we know her heart. And by my blood, I have washed away those sins. So he can go, and he can accuse, and he can say, and he can point his finger, and he can do all of those things. But God knows who we are, because we are his children. Right? So, does God know you? Does He know your heart? And will you pass or fail? Thank you for listening to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep in touch between podcasts by finding us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the show notes. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week about who you are in Christ.